Let's draw the orbital overlap diagram for HCl. Now, H is one of the easiest atoms to draw in terms of orbitals. It only has one electron in its 1s orbital, and that is all. Chlorine is going to be more complicated. It has two electrons in its 3s orbital and five in its 3p orbital. Now, if I was to draw that in terms of electron configuration diagrams. I could label that as 1s and put an electron in there for hydrogen. Chlorine, on the other hand, in its valence shell, now these are, I'm not going to draw these at the exact same energy levels, but there's a 3s orbital that contains two electrons and a 3p subshell that contains one, two, three, four, five electrons. Now the chlorine is going to bond to HCl by a single bond, and you can convince yourself of that by drawing a Lewis structure. But that means that the Cl requires no double bonds, no leftover p orbitals after hybridization. So the chlorine needs one, two, three, four hybridized orbitals, which means it, sp3, hybridizes. All of these one, two, three, four orbitals will come together to form four degenerate or equal energy hybridized orbitals, and those are sp3. Some teachers want you to label it with the three because it is the third energy level. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven electrons in those hybridized orbitals. To draw this, you're going to have to know what the shape of sp3 orbitals is. They arrange themselves tetrahedrally around a Cl. So if you put a Cl here, you can draw one above it, and then try to draw the other three downwards like a tripod. Maybe this one is going behind it, this one's coming out at you, and then this one is out to the side. I draw them as little pointy balloons like this. The idea is that they're all supposed to be separated by 109.5 degrees. I know this one doesn't look like it, but if one of them was going into the page and one of them was coming out of the page, that could be about 109 degrees. The hydrogen is literally just a 1s, so you can put your h. A 1s orbital is a single sphere. I'm just going to make sure that they overlap with one of the hybridized orbitals from the chlorine. This represents the single bond between them. In fact, if I was going to put electrons into this, which you probably should, the one electron from hydrogen bonds with the one single electron from chlorine and gives you an electron pair. And there's a covalent bond between chlorine's 3sp3 orbital and hydrogen's 1s orbital. Now, these other orbitals here are also CSP3s. Three, did I say that right? Three SP3s. And they all had lone pairs in them. You can see that on both the Lewis structure and in my orbital diagram here. So I'm gonna put one, two, one, two, one, two inside there. All right, the orbital overlap diagram for HCl has an overlap, an actual overlap between H's 1s and one of the 3sp3 hybridized orbitals from chlorine. The other three, 3sp3 hybridized orbitals, just have lone pairs in them. See, one, two, three lone pairs, one, two, three lone pairs here. It's a beautiful thing, just like you are. Best of luck.